good thing. Uh, you handle it differently if it's going to be in a window or something that has no texture. This one here uh, has a lot of opportunities because of this textured surface. But you need to determine what the background color is and then the color of whatever these uh, reflections are going to be. And I'm going to do these as reflections in a wet pavement as opposed to um, the shadows or something like that. Okay, so I've got a couple of colors there. Instant dirty water. It's <laughs> pretty. And the first thing that you want to do is wet the paper. Let's see if this adds color. Well, so what? Okay. So you will wet the entire area just the way that I did in that uh, last little demonstration. Now, it, don't think about this as, a, as if it all has to be like this. You could have areas masked off that you could use as, say, uh, crossing lanes or something like that, or markings on the road. You just mask them off ahead of time. Um, but for our purposes here, we're just going to wet it all. Turn your head, remember, to make sure you've got it all uniformly wet. Okay. A lot of watercolor is waiting for the right color to, or the right um, wetness to develop. I'm going to make this guy have blue jeans and a red, maybe a purple shirt. And I'm going to make this person in red. A little bit of this flesh color ready. Okay, you don't want to wait terribly long, so I'm probably going to move on this now. Um, below your objects, pull down some color that you uh, yeah, that works. Okay, I'm just going to pull down a little bit of color there for my reflection. Do you normally do the reflection color first? I think it works best because that's where your impact is, right? Um, so you want to get as much of that in there as possible. You can see it spreads. If you do it the other way around, uh, you may not have the opportunity to get in what you want. And then there's this, whoops, scarlet woman here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was a little bit too wet. And then I'm going to pull down uh, a neutral. <coughs> some blues and some browns. And I'm going to call this my pavement color. Actually, I'm going to mix it all up together. <coughs> I have to tell you something interesting that uh, John Salman told us that you will love. <coughs> he says when he starts a painting, he, once he starts, he never cleans his palette or empties his water. Oh, oh, wow. Because then he always has the right neutral. Oh, no matter what the go. situation, all his scraps of color are there. And he just, he says, and sometimes I don't even wash my brushes. <laughs> oh, my gosh. But he's got everything there, so he's ready to go. But why would he not rinse his water at least? Because then he's got perfect for uh, grays and stuff like that. He has clean water there, but he doesn't yeah. get rid of his dirty water. Huh. That down there wasn't... If you let the dirty water settle, it, it makes a really nice sure. film at the bottom that you can use. <laughs> and the water on top is clean, actually. Okay, now, in this case, at this point, um, I've got... This is happening here. I'm going to use two hockeys for this. I'm going to use one that I'm going to uh, use as my starting one this? and another one. For the finer work. Mm -hmm. So at this point bite? now, I'm going to pull minutes, my colors one. down. A I little. have no idea how much I have on here. 
and I'm going to go right over. Is that a dry brush? This is dry, exactly. and I'm wiping it off on my mm -hmm. stuff. Here, my stuff. That red was pretty damn nasty. <coughs> She's got like a bl blossom on the outside yeah. of the red. What are you going to do about that? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I've got that part done. And it's a little bit on the wet side, but I'm going to try now um, doing this. So now I'm going to go from side to side to break it up. Brush it off. Uh, brush it off. You see how that's yeah. changing the edges of them? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's and spreading this up here. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to use a, uh, a thirsty brush. Pull up some some texture, so it makes it look more like a. And you know what I mean by a thirsty brush, everyone, right? Right. Now it's a wet brush that's been thoroughly wet, and then every ounce of the water's out of it, oh. so it feels damp to the touch. But it's thirsty now. It wants uh -huh. to okay. suck up things. I thirsty brush was a dry brush. <laughs> mm -mm. No, you've got to have it wet. See now this is adding little bits of texture. That makes it look more realistic. Um, and another thing that I would probably do is <coughs> use the uh, atomizer. Okay, so. What do you wow. think? Does it look like it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you said so. Well, it's wet. It's That's supposed to be wet. Yep, it's a wet, it's like reflections. Okay. And then at that point,